OLL is the third step of CFOP where we orient the last layer pieces so that the top face is the same color. Full OLL, which is also called one look OLL, has 57 different cases with a different algorithm for each one. In this video, I'll be teaching you two look OLL, which is what beginners learn before moving on to one look OLL. Everyone starts with two look because there are only 10 cases we need to learn instead of 57 and it still makes a drastic improvement in your solves. In fact, you can probably get close to sub 12 seconds with just two look OLL. Now the reason it's called two look is because we break normal one look down into these two steps. First, we start by solving the cross, which has three cases, and then we solve the corners, for which there are seven different cases we need to learn. All right, now let me show you the algorithms to solve these 10 cases. If you're confused about cube notation and how to actually perform an algorithm, check out the video I've linked in the description below to learn it. Otherwise, you can just follow along with the movements I show you in this video. So when we're solving the yellow cross, we're only concerned about the yellow edge pieces. We don't care about well, what the corners look like at all. So we, you could have one corner solved, two corners, all of the corners, it doesn't matter. Uh, ignore those, just only focus on how many edges you have. In this case, we have two edges solved and they create this line shape and we're going to hold it horizontally like this and we're going to do this algorithm to get the yellow cross. So do an F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and there's the yellow cross. You might also get this L shape case, which is when you look at the edges, and you have two edges solved that are adjacent to each other, and they create this L shape. Uh, what you're gonna do is hold the L in the bottom right like this, and we're gonna perform this algorithm, which is very similar to the line case, but instead of regular F moves, we're gonna do lowercase f moves, which is just a, a wide F move, or when you move the middle layer with the F move. So this is what it looks like, lowercase f. Notice how the middle layer moves with the F, then an R, U, R prime, U prime, lowercase f prime back, return the front and the middle layer. So the middle part is the same, it's just the Fs that are different from the line case, and there's the yellow cross. The third case you can encounter is just a single dot. You have no edges solved at all. Uh, and again, remember to ignore any of the corner pieces. So you could have one two or four corners solved, just ignore those. We're only looking at the edge pieces. In this case, it doesn't matter what orientation you hold it from. Uh, you could hold it like this or like that, it doesn't matter. Um, but this, the algorithm we're gonna perform is just the line case followed by the L case algorithm. So we're gonna do an F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. That's the line case algorithm. And notice how it gives us the L case, and, and it's in the right position, so we don't have to do any extra moves. Just do the algorithm to solve this with a lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime, just like that. And there's the yellow cross. So that one's pretty nice. You don't have to memorize any extra algorithms. Just do those two combined together. So once we have the yellow cross solved, now we need to solve the yellow corners. Now to do that, we have the seven different cases we need to learn. So let's go through these one by one, starting off with the soon case. You recognize the soon algorithm when you have only a single yellow corner solved. And also you're gonna have this on the right, this yellow is gonna be facing you. That's one important distinction because there's an anti-soon case where you don't have the yellow facing you. A really easy way to remember this algorithm is by tracking what happens to this F2L pair. So we're going to do an R, U, R prime to take the F2L pair out and return the cross. Then we're going to move this F2L pair over by one. And then we're going to insert it back in by bringing the cross piece up with an R. Do a U2 to connect it and just input that F2L pair back in. And there is OLL done. Now here's the anti-soon case where again you have a single yellow corner in the bottom left but you don't see any yellow in the front, it's actually on the right. So this is how you recognize the anti-soon case. 
And uh, the way we're going to hold it is actually like this. So we're going to hold the corner in the top left. And uh, the algorithm to solve this is going to be an R prime. It's the same as a soon, but we're going to be moving this back right F2L pair out. Like this with the U prime, R to return the cross. We're going to move it over once with the U prime again. And then we have to insert this F2L back in the back right slot. So we're going to do an R prime, U2, R. And there it is. Moving on to the H case, I'm not sure why it's called this, maybe because it kind of looks like an H, but uh, you don't have any yellow corners solved on the top, but you notice you have these two yellow headlights on the left and on the right. So headlights, headlights, nothing on the top, that's the H case. And uh, to solve this, the algorithm is kind of similar to the anti soon case. It's actually exactly the same as the anti soon, but with four extra moves in the middle. So we're gonna do an R prime, u prime r u prime to take this f2 l pair out and move it over one and then we're going to do an r prime u and instead of inserting it we're going to actually return this cross back with an r u prime to move it over once now we're going to insert this f2 l pair with an r prime u2 r next up we have the pi case again this one has no yellow corners on the top it's got the headlights on the left, but there's no headlights on the right. Instead, we have these two opposing yellow pieces here, and then just the single headlights there. So to solve the pi case, we're going to do an R, U2, R2, U prime. And notice how these two F2L pairs have been created like this. And there's a single edge piece here. So we're going to do an R2. To bring this edge over, we're going to connect these F2L pairs with a U prime. Now we want to do an R2 so that it moves this edge all the way to the other side again. Then we have to connect this F2L pair here with a U2 R. It's kind of a weird one, but there it is. Next up, it gets a bit more interesting with the L case, and uh, you recognize it by seeing these two yellow corners that are solved diagonally opposite from each other and uh, you're gonna hold this yellow corner in the front left like that and notice this one's over here so then to solve this we do an f r prime f prime now you're going to do a lowercase r so you're in, not not just a regular r but a lowercase where you move the middle layer with it like that to bring this all of this up and then do a u to move that F2L pair out of the way, do an R to bring this and connect the cross together, then do a U prime to kind of like fix everything up with the F2L pair and then just put everything back down with an R prime. There is OL well done. It definitely seems a bit confusing and can be a bit hard to wrap your head around at first, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. Next up, we have what is called the T case where you have these two yellow corners solved on the same side. And on the left, you're gonna see this yellow corner here and a yellow corner here on opposite ends. And uh, just hold it like this. And this is very, this is like actually the inverse of the L case. So we're gonna do a lowercase r first. Do a u to move this out of the way. r prime, u prime. And we're gonna insert this in with a lowercase r. And then we have to fix everything up and bring this back. So do a F, R, F prime. Finally, we have the U case. This one is slightly longer, but uh, you recognize it. Where it looks very similar to the T case with the two old yellow corners solved. But then here we have headlights instead of them being on opposite ends. And uh, we're going to hold it like this with the headlights facing U. And what we're going to do is an R2. D, it's kind of hard to see, but you move this layer over, R prime, and a U2 to move this F2L pair here to the back left, and then an R, D prime to undo that original D we did and connect all of this up, R prime, U2 to connect the F2L pair, and an R prime to put everything back down.
So that's all there is to two look OLL, just those 10 different cases you need to learn. After you get good at those 10 cases and you feel like you're pretty good with two look and you want to get even faster, I would recommend learning full one look OLL. And to get started with that, I would recommend you check out this video where you can learn the 12 easiest OLL algorithms, which will significantly help speed up your progress to full OLL. That was it for this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button as it does help my channel out a lot. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.